This is RadioFire.com. Yours truly, Diamond K, in here alongside my father. How you doing, Dad? Good, good, good. Um, good day. Every day is a good day for for old man. You're not old, Dad. Nobody believes you. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody believes you. Do you get like when you go and you don't drink coffee, but like if you go somewhere and you say like, "Can I get a senior discount?" Do they look at you like, "Man, come on." No, then? Sometimes. They yeah. ask my, I, I, they, they card me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, cool. The, the, oh, yeah. They say, oh, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two senior dinners, please. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, a couple of things I want to talk about today. Um, you know, one, one thing that we really like talking about. Uh, which is boxing. Yes. Um, is Deontay Wilder the best heavyweight in the game? Yes. Yeah. I mean, anybody who's knocked out, everybody he's faced, he's a 40 and 39, but he's, you know, that's misleading because he, he's knocked out everybody he's faced because he fought that one guy twice who went the distance. Mm -hmm. But uh, come on. Knocked out 39 people and faced, uh, he, he knocked out everybody. I mean, he's only 10 fights away from uh, Mayweather. Mayweather was at 50, and they, they said that's the greatest thing. He's only, he's You're only, right. He's only he's 10 away. Like that. He didn't knock everybody out. You are right. He's only 10 away. Only I 10. didn't even think about that. I mean, he could possibly be, be 50 and old with 50 knockouts. And so, so, oh, so I guess a, a, 49 knockouts. A, a, right. Right, a, a, a modern heavyweight, he's fighting maybe on, on if he fights a lot. Two fights a year is a lot. Mm -hmm. So he fights two fights a year. He can do this in five years. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Because he can do this he, in five what, is he years. He's thirty-two now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's young. Yeah. So he he's got another. I mean, he could fight to. He could fight three. He could fight till he's forty. I think he could. Yeah, Mayweather did. I mean, uh, and you retain that 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 uh, knockout punch. You know? Yeah, that's not something that that. Uh, that that goes away. I was worried about whether or not he could take a punch. Yeah, everybody was. And, so, uh, <laughs> and I was because I listen. I was more concerned about him getting past this fight than the boy in England. Really? Oh yeah, because this guy was. Uh, you talking about this Ortiz. potential, this Ortiz. upcoming fight? Maybe yeah. that's gonna happen. Yeah, Ortiz. Because uh, uh, he's or, tough. Ortiz is. Uh, he, Ortiz is now was what twenty four and, and old with twenty two knockouts. You yeah. know, and he, you know, he's, uh, he's he had good. a good game plan. Uh, he just kept coming forward. He dictated the pace. Yeah, uh, he was controlling the movement and everything. Uh, has does he have knockout power? Ortiz. Yeah, yeah. It seemed like he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. He he doesn't have that one. Uh, is accumulation one punch knockout like that? That that skinny boy does. That boy. That boy. That that. And see, he was just waiting. He was just, he was just waiting to law him in. But after he knocked him down in the fifth round, he knew that he could get it. His, he he his, knew I could hurt him. But his was funny about that. If you, it, it was another time when he slipped and Wilder rushed him. Yeah, I saw that. I, yeah. However, a punch came. was like, nope, I'm not. <laughs> he's, he's like, oh, my bad. <laughs> I saw that. He, he thought that, I had, he, that he had hit it. He, he ran over yeah, there. And he, he realized he <laughs> came, bop, bop. He ain't hurt. No, he yeah. wasn't hurt. Right, right. He, he right, wasn't hurt. Right. And then, and then, what he uh, he uh, uh, credits himself on having that killer instinct. He said, he said, he said, if I see you hurt, I'm gonna take you out. And so he did. He ran over there quick. Thought he was, he had, it had hurt him. He had slipped. Right. And yeah, then he yeah. realized he backed. He said, oh no. If if I could critique him one thing, and I think this is major though, it's that sometimes his punches are wild and they don't. Sometimes it's almost slap punches, or it is, you know, when he gets wild, they're not connecting. And mm -hmm. I think some at some point in time, that may cause him some trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think it caused him a little bit of trouble when he's fighting Ortiz, because Ortiz's punches weren't like that. His punches were solid, and they, and they were connecting. He didn't want to get inside, though. I thought, I thought that was a mistake for Ortiz. He just didn't seem like he wanted to fight inside. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand that. The yeah. Uh, yeah, but and the uppercut is effective for Wilder. He doesn't yeah. throw it a lot, but yeah, that that that's what took him down the yeah. last time with that yeah. uppercut. And uh, yeah, yeah, but um, 
uh, this is going to be a tough fight for him, um, for, for the boy in England, the end of the month, so they say. I don't even know the guy he's fighting. Uh, and that's on Showtime. That's on Showtime. Yeah, yeah. so we, we definitely got to see that. that. Yeah. Um, Wilder said he's going. I think he's going to be commentating. Oh, my so he's God. Going, yeah. He talks a lot of trash. Yeah, too. yeah. He's, the, you know, the Ortiz nickname was King Kong. Right. And, and uh, he, he did the training day line. He said, like, King Kong ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think it's awkward. Like, so so the guy I just fought, you standing right there. Yeah. And, and, and I just hugged you and it said something nice about you. And now I'm talking, I'm, I'm still throwing him a little shots. You know, like, uh, well, well. Hell, he can't halfway understand what he's saying because <laughs> he don't speak well, English. Right. He was, yeah, he didn't understand what he's saying. <laughs> but uh, he would have said it anyway. So. Yeah, well, he wouldn't. But, yeah, uh, it wouldn't have made it. Wouldn't right. have made it. But different. I mean, come on, you gotta feel good when you say I done knocked out everybody out of face, and mm. it's been forty of them, mm. forty, not twenty. You know, because you don't usually hear. I mean, I've never even heard of forty knockouts. You know, I heard. No. You know, it's always in the twenty. Mike Tyson didn't have no, forty knockouts. Like forty knockouts. Yeah. And um, but now, uh, may, may but be. they quite, they try to say the people that I've I've read that have that are not fans say that the level of his opponents haven't always been top tier. Well, I mean, can you name forty top tier? Out of you know, out of the top heavyweights, it's probably uh, that that uh, good fighters. It's probably about ten, you know. That, uh, but now I, I was watching this one guy named uh, he's in New York in Brooklyn, named uh, Baby Boy, ba- Baby Boy, mm-hmm. and he was an MMA fighter. He's twenty nine, and uh, so he's turned uh, to boxing now. And I watched. You don't go that way. Yeah, and I and I saw him. I, I, so he's pro now. Yeah, he's pro now, and he fought uh, Gerald Washington. Gerald Washington is a guy that uh, Gerald Washington was is pretty good. He uh, um, uh, Wilder fought him, I think, last year or maybe in 2016, and knocked him out in the fifth round. And uh, this guy fought uh, Gerald Washington uh, November of 2017, and uh, they stopped it in the eighth round. But here's the thing about him. He weighs two ninety eight, but he's not fat. How tall is he? He's not that tall. He, he's probably about six four. How's he not? How's he, he not fat? He, is he built like Butterbean? No, 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 no. He's a big dude. And uh, and then when he was MMA, he was like two seventy five. So he put and he's away. young. Huh? And he he's only he's twenty nine, and he's been calling Wilder out. Oh, and, but. Uh, and, and, um, and calling him out, wow! Yeah, and I watched the fight. He, but why did he take him out? You know, because uh, because he, he got that he got that punch. So uh, this is the big. So this will be the big payday coming for him to fight the guy in England. Yes, yeah. Uh, so because he got two million dollars for this last fight. He got two million. What was it? That was a good two million. What does he need a tune up fight before this fight? He don't need no tune up fight. No tune up. But um, uh, it probably won't be before um, you know, like November or something like that. But you think it's gonna be in 2018? Definitely. Oh, that they're gonna definitely great. fight. Definitely fight. They're gonna fight this winter. That'd so be... he'll probably have three fights this year because he just fought, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm speaking about uh, three. Wilder. Yeah. And he's got a fight between now and um, November. You know what I mean? He might not, but I mean, it seems like I, I, he would want to. Have you seen him hurt like like beat up before, bloody or nothing like that? Because mm-hmm. I haven't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, I, and I saw. I, I mean, and then he wasn't. Uh, you talking about Wilder? Yeah, yeah. And, and that seventh round, you know, it it, it 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 didn't look as bad as they keep saying to me. You know, uh, he was in trouble. He though. was in trouble, but he wasn't out on his feet. I doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah, he, he, yeah. Was, he wasn't out on his feet. Yeah, but he was. Uh, I think that he was still. He would have ended the fight in the fifth round if it had been. If it had been uh, not, you know, he had a, uh, another minute. Cause he he had that boy's leg started shaking. Yeah, but I mean, some people might think that he might the fight might have been ended if it was if there was a longer seventh round when when he was in trouble. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, he knew how to, he knew how to hold on. So yeah, he, he was yeah. holding. He knew how. Yeah, he didn't he didn't know how to do that. Mm-hmm. I always think that it's um, I think it's cold blooded. They used to do this a lot with um, uh, Pacquiao when you show the family member reacting to their loved one. Yeah. Or, you know, or getting having a bad round or or a knockout or something. When you see the family member, 
that's cold blooded. Yeah. When they show, when they, when they show the little girl, they show the little girl. Yeah, uh, you know what yeah. I mean. But uh, you know, it's it's it's, uh, it, it's all good. Uh, I, I I'm a fan of of Wilder, and I liked. I didn't like the fact that little Kim didn't know the words to her song when she was walking to the ring with him. Uh, I would. Did you know that, that was little Kim? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was yeah. little. I, but I you know. Uh, she used to be a cute little girl. Yeah, she's she's made some changes, but um, uh, speaking of she she got the news that she said I made some changes because black don't crack. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure it don't crack. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so Triple G and Canelo fight is coming. Right. Surprisingly, single de Mayo. Right. No surprise right. there. Right. Uh, so they said that Canelo tested positive for something he was not was not supposed to have in his system. Did you hear the excuse that is? Of course, they said we, we didn't know we we didn't know we had this in our system. Did did you hear the uh, reason that they gave? No, I didn't hear the reason. Um, so the the fight is two months away. The rematch. Some people say that he lost, so it was a draw. I don't think it was a draw. Yeah, yeah. but they said it was I a draw. I think we did see that fight. Yeah, yeah we did. We did. Draw. We saw yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, so he tested on the seventeenth of February and on the twentieth. Um, urine samples taken both occasions, both came out dirty, and um, of course people were nervous, thinking. So they said his corner said it must have been the meat. That we had, so you know, you trained in Mexico, so they say it was, you know, some, you know, the meat down here is, just, you know, it's not as good as the meat in America, and uh, and that's what it was. It wasn't he, he didn't take nothing. It was the meat. <laughs> and cow, and cow, <laughs> and cow took it. Right, <laughs> right. And, and so he says tainted meat consumption. I didn't um, hear that. So okay, yeah, that's a good one. and uh, so he said this is surprisingly. This is not a uncommon occurrence for people that train south of the border. Surpri- unsurprisingly, they've been using this excuse for a while. People that, that, that trade in Mexico. Uh, and so that's, that's what that is. So Golden Boy says that um, they want to get ahead of this. So going forward, he's going to train in California. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so uh, you know, but... Uh, they they definitely can't afford to have this fight called off or anything like that. So um, uh, it's the status of the fight is still going to happen. It's still a go, uh, assuming that everything you know stays on the up and up. Um, yeah, I'm 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 really rooting for Camelo to win this second. Yeah, one. I am too. So he's he's training in San Diego. Just just so y'all know. Um, so assuming that that the ruling does not get reversed. Which would be shocking considering the amount of money. I mean, if it happens this time, he gonna say he's. You know, my mother brought that food up here from Mexico. <laughs> she made it. She made me a sandwich. I had this. I had this sandwich. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's so that's. I think that this one, this rematch, is gonna be definitive. It's, yeah. it's not gonna be, have to any, be any, yeah. no draw. Somebody got. Somebody got to go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's a perfect segue to the, to the last thing I want us to talk about. Somebody got to go. Uh, and I think that it's it's Trump. Yeah. Trump is having, just in the last week, the uh, the amount of uh, pressure that's got to be on him losing. So Hope Hicks, she didn't put in her resignation. Her mom and father said, you got to go. <laughs> her mother and father, uh-uh. Not my baby. You got to go. <laughs> right. said, I didn't want you to date that guy. You date that guy, but you get out of that white house. You <laughs> You get out of the White House. Um, and she was one of Ivanka's homegirls. Right. Initially, she was yeah. with, uh, Ivanka. Right. And and she's gotten really close to the family and really close to him, uh, Trump. But uh, she she said on the, on the stand, I've lied. I told some lies for Trump. But they were just little white lies. But not about the Russia stuff. It was We was lying about something else. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what she said. This is a quote. This is a quote. Mm-hmm. I mean, today uh, Cohen is gone. Uh, the The most entertaining thing yesterday was a former Trump employee that was on. T- he was on every channel. He was on all of the news shows. Number mm-hmm. talking and nobody, trash. And nobody even heard of him before. No, outside the newspaper, news, news reporters. 
No, but now, now, I mean, he he was on tour. He was on more shows than Monique was on. <laughs> <laughs> he did it in twenty four hours. Uh, so he's a former Trump employee. He says that he thinks that Trump did something wrong with Russia. He talked about that trying to look at his business, you know, as Trump's business. He was very protective of Roger Stone. He said he was like a father to his him. mentor. Is his it? mentor. Mm-hmm. Is Roger Stone married? No girl in sight? Because I've never seen him with a girl before. I'm just saying, I just the way that he was clinging to Roger Stone was just kind of, I don't know, it's kind of weird. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, so Trump, this, what is his fascination with steel and aluminum? What is that all about? Well, <clears throat> you know, um, um, Gary Cohn. Uh, left today, resigned today mm-hmm. because of that uh, uh, upcoming uh, trade war that he says is, is looming. But now Trump also has another... Because he was advising him against that. Yes. And he said, if you go for this, I'm, like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. And uh, so Trump uh, had another uh, associate who last week <clears throat> had a lot of... Uh, Stock and steel. He put that. He sold that stock a whole last week. Lot. He sold it last week because he already knew Trump told him you know, what's going to happen. So the bottom line is, it's money for Trump. Mm-hmm. It ain't nothing for the country because he cares nothing for the country. Uh, it's all for him, and uh, so he's got it, the, the 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 fix is in. So that's all that is. And uh, so how does this end? I mean, he's got, he's losing all these people. The noose is is really tightening. I but I don't he, doubt Hope Hicks is going to cooperate. Yeah, yeah. She's got information. If anybody got information, it's her. Um, you know. So it's just it's a matter. How do you see this ending? And he, um, and you know his lawyer, the other guy, Michael Cohn, who gave um, Stony whatever the girl's name is, the hundred thirty thousand. Mm-hmm. He ain't got his money back yet. <laughs> Did you hear that? I didn't. I never missed that. Yeah, he he said he gave. So he he, that, he said it was out. It was his personal money. And he said, and this was in November. I gave him. I gave her that money back in November, because I could never con. I could never reach Trump, and I knew that you know that, that we had to make a move. So I did this on my own to try to help him out, and I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and and Trump is so. an unusual kind of a guy, man. Because I don't know how to say this. You know, okay, he don't even care. Okay, yeah. I, I don't care whether y'all, whether she, he don't even care if she comes forward. I never because did he said he could shoot somebody in the middle. Right. Of, so uh, anybody, yeah. yeah, right, right. So he don't. Uh, and then okay, and then you know the guy, um, uh, 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 Nutberg, he's the one that said that he's the one that told Trump about the wall. You know, because he was a political strategist back in right, 2015. Right, right. So he's the one who told him. He said, I'm the one who told him about the wall. And he taking it. And then um, <laughs> and, um, um, uh, uh, Stone, what is it? Uh, Roger Stone. Roger Stone said, I'm the one who told him to, to jump on Hillary, you know, to bring her husband's uh, sexual escapades back into the play. He he gonna fire us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I I um I think that this is, I think it's going down. The uh, elections coming up. You know how many people that, have said that? How many times? Yeah, but yeah, you got a point there. But how you gonna get out of this one? He ain't Harry Houdini. Out of uh, what? Get out of what? Uh, the, the trade war? The, the Just, little trade war? Or the, nah, I mean, like or, you said, he doesn't care about the trade war. Because my thing is this: you, you remember he was talking about the um, the the uh, what the uh, homosexual ban or whatever he was talking about in the military. Mm-hmm. He just says stuff to get some type of reaction to distract people, and then he'll pull back and then he'll talk about it no more. You know what I mean? And I think this trade, this aluminum steel stuff, is just something he threw out there. And then something else gonna happen, and he's gonna pull back, he ain't gonna say nothing else about it. It's just like, you know, watch it here, and you watch it here, and he took that one away, and we didn't even pay attention no more. We looking at these two. Mm-hmm. And, and I think I he's just gonna do that. I agree, I agree. Because it makes no sense for them to put any type of, of, of tariffs on steel or aluminum, considering the fact that, I, I mean, it's you gotta think about the future. 
And I was well, thinking about know, what he but, was saying. But, but, but you know, he said today, and he, and he would make um, uh, a lot of people uh, agree with him. He said, listen, most of our steel comes from uh, China. If we get in a war and they give us bullshit steel, what, <laughs> what are we going to do? We got to make that steel ourselves. So I mean, he, you know, uh, you know, this is what he, he said, we got to make that steel. You know, but my thing is, is I get, I hear that, but you know, the steel industry. And if we at war with China, what you, what they gonna make our steel for us? To, I mean, what are you talking about? So this is, this is. But that's not how we're not fighting war. He. He's fighting. He wants to fight an old, old style war. Like we, don't, they're, they're not even fighting like that anymore. You know what I mean? He wants to bring. He wants the coal mines to come back. He, he's trying to bring back. He's too old school. With he said, we want to make America great again. Yeah. And see, and, and what people don't understand is this. That's what Russia. Uh, uh, that's what Putin is uh, telling Russians. We want to make uh, Russia great again because they went down. We ain't never went down. We already. Been, we always been great. And uh, so, uh, you know, it's what you're saying. He, he just throws stuff out just like Roy Cohn, his, his mentor. Uh, but, that, you know, the steel and stuff like that, that's not what we need to be worried about. What we need to be worried about, and China is a big problem. China is trying to, but they're trying to do it on, in the futuristic way. They have a, um, a merger that they're trying, that the government's trying to stop. Uh, uh a Chinese company uh, Broadcom is trying to buy a um, American company out of California, Quailcom. They make the these two companies <clears throat> make all of the hardware for the cell phones, for smartphones. Mm. These two, the Chinese company is trying to buy the American company. This is a hostile takeover. The uh, people at uh, Qualcomm in California asked the government to kind of step in. They're trying to take over. They, Trump and them have, you know, the administration has tried to put a hold to it and say, we're not going to let no Chinese company, you know, come and take this over. They've moved their headquarters to the United States now. It's smart. I mean, I get it. That's smart. So now they're trying to do that, and, and they were getting ready to do that. So now they put something up so it takes 30 days. They need to look at it some more and try to figure it out. The California company feels that they're trying to um, uh, devalue the company and, and mm -hmm. purchase it less than what it's worth. But if this happens, if this company is allowed to purchase this company, mm -hmm. that's like those are the things we need to be worried about. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. People that's making the the chips for all the smartphones. This is this is not just the iPhone. You're talking about all the phones. They're making the technology. They're working on the 5G technology mm -hmm. that's coming out. These are the these are the things we need to worry about. Not mm -hmm. not the stuff that Trump's talking about is old. Mm -hmm. This is the future stuff. Cell mm -hmm. phones. Everybody has a cell phone. This is the kind of stuff that controls. And China's been doing that. Coming in. Purchasing, uh, you know, stakes in companies through you know side companies that the Chinese government has under their thumb. Well, you know, these it, are the issues. Yeah, well, you know, and Asia has been on top of uh, the technology uh, w way stronger than we have. Yeah, because I told you that when I was in uh, Taiwan in 1992, they had cell phones and we didn't have no cell phones. I was mm -hmm. amazed. I said, I'm, I'm riding the car. I said, they had the, at the bus stop on the phone. You know, I was amazed, you know, uh, because we were always led to think that America's number one. We get everything first. We, you know, I've seen the first hand. Absolutely, categorically not. Uh, and so, um, and then, you know, and even in Japan, the robots, you know, so they, they, uh, and they got face recognition long before we even. So they, they, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. But the only thing I think about China, too, China has 1.5 billion people and they um discontinued the restriction on how many the children one they child yeah thing. yeah so they need to have a war because they need to they got to, they got to eliminate what they got they got we know we've been killing our men okay yeah. you know different wars we you know we go over every nine ten years we go kill in afghanistan and pakistan and uh but they they don't have they haven't had no wars that they do and they got 
two. I think they got a what a three million man army. Correct. Korea, Korea, North Korea got a million man army. We don't even have a million in our army. We don't have a million. Well, I think. I, what do we? We're not gonna have no ground war. Throw some missiles, some bombs. Well, a couple diseases. Wait, nobody. Right. Nobody trying to do all that hand right. hand stuff. Right. Right. The, right. Even right. the the thugs don't even want to fight no more. They just want to shoot. Just get over. Shoot. Right. Right. No more fighting. Yeah. You remember back that's in the true. day? That's true. Yeah, that's true. I used to. <laughs> that's, yeah, that was my thing. I used to love to fight. You used to have the brass knuckles, you know. Yeah. They don't even have no stuff was, like that. I no was more. fighting one time and the guy stabbed me in my shoulder. I didn't even know I was stabbed. So I got my guy. I said, "Come on, Drake Johnson." <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I tried to hit him. I said, uh-huh. You know, stab me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we gotta we gotta get out of here. Uh, definitely, always a pleasure. Yes, thank yes. you so much. And soon you're gonna be making some announcements about some stuff that you got coming up. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm excited and, to talk and, about and that. And you know what? And I, I want to give a shout out to somebody that we know that just moved down to uh, Los Angeles, Lorraine. Oh my goodness, Lisa, that's right. Lisa yes, Lisa I Mooney. saw her on Facebook. Yeah, Lisa Shout Mooney. out to Lisa, yes. Yeah, yeah, Lisa Mooney. Lisa's so, like my um, uh, little baby fourth sister. sister. Yeah. No, is it four? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I got three. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I have four children. So. Right, 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 right. But yeah, right, yeah, yeah, she right. was. Yeah, she's been there all along. So, okay, Lisa. Yes. All right. All so, right. We'll, be back, we'll be back next week. Yes, sir. With more, uh, more stuff to talk about. So, see you guys.